Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'll be expanding upon our previous sine wave visualization to demonstrate how a directional overcurrent relay interprets and operates based on current and voltage vectors in a power system. Below the sine wave visualization, I have created a new interactive visualization that shows what the relay sees. This visualization will help us understand the decision making process of the relay in real time. To make it easier to understand, I've added a button that allows you to stop the rotation. Imagine jumping onto a rotating CD and turning with it. This would make the vectors appear fixed relative to your position. I have a rotating vector representing the phase current IC and the phase to phase voltage VAB between phases A and B. I've also introduced a polarizing voltage, which is VAB shifted by an angle internally set in the relay. This voltage vector, labeled V pole, is what the relay uses to make a trip decision. In our visualization, this is labeled as RCA, which stands for Relay Characteristic Angle. I have included an input field that allows you to change this value with a slider, as can be seen. To give directionality to the overcurrent relay and determine whether to send a trip signal to the circuit breaker, an orthogonal line is drawn to the polarizing voltage, defining a trip and no trip zone. These zones are color coded for easy differentiation, with the no trip zone indicated by light blue. To emphasize the significance of the X over R ratio in the relay's decision making process, we have included an input field with a slider that allows you to modify this value. The X over R ratio indicates the correlation between the reactance X and resistance R of the system, which affects the impedance angle. By changing the X over R ratio, you can observe how the angle between phase current IC and voltage VAB changes in the visualization. This demonstrates how the system's impedance impacts the relay's ability to accurately determine the fault direction and make appropriate trip decisions. It's essential to understand the role of the X over R ratio in power system protection to ensure the directional overcurrent relays operate correctly and maintain the stability of the power network. Now, let's walk through a step-by-step -step example of how the directional overcurrent relay makes a trip decision. Determine the values for phase current, phase-to-phase -phase voltage, and the X over R ratio. In this example, I'll use the following values. Phase current IA equal to 120 amps, phase-to-phase -phase voltage, VBC equal to 6.6 .6 kV, and an X over R ratio of 4. Let us calculate the impedance angle based on the X over R ratio. The impedance angle, theta, can be calculated using the formula, theta equal to arc tangent of X over R. For our example, theta is arc tangent of 4, which is roughly 76 degrees. Now, using the given phase current and voltage values, plot the current and voltage vectors on the relay's plane. Consider the impedance angle I have just calculated. Determine the polarizing voltage vector RCA based on the relay settings. In this case, I'll assume that the relay is set to an angle of 30 degrees. Draw an orthogonal line to the polarizing voltage vector, dividing the plane into trip and no trip zones. Observe the position of the current vector relative to the orthogonal line. If the current vector lies within the trip zone, the relay will send a trip signal to the circuit breaker. If the current vector lies within the no trip zone, the relay will not take any action. By exploring this interactive visualization and understanding the step by step process, you'll gain a clearer comprehension of how directional overcurrent relays interpret current and voltage vectors in power systems and make trip decisions accordingly. Thank you for watching.